on Friday, March 26, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, while still in an intensive meditation retreat for our world, graciously shared of her precious time by calling the Supreme Master Television team members and lovingly reading a story titled The Phoenix from a treasury of Jewish folklore compiled by Nguyen Luc. Prior to it, Master kindly answered questions which team members had on a variety of topics, together with some current ones concerning the Christian clergy. Uh, Master, in recent news, it's reported that the Vatican is reaffirming its stance against gay marriage, uh -huh. stating God cannot bless sin. Uh -huh. It has ruled out any possibility of same-sex couples having a Christian blessing on their marriage. Uh -huh. Master, would you be able to share your opinion on this? Is it really true that this is a sin and that God cannot bless such a marriage? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, human stuff again. <laughs> According to Leviticus, a man should not do anything like, uh, you know, in a loving kind of having physical relationship with another man as if he does it with a woman is one of those sins that uh, God has conveyed to the people at that time. But uh, aren't we all sinners, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even if we didn't sin today, maybe we sinned yesterday? Hmm? Yes, yes. Yes. Even if we did not sin in the, in the flesh, we sin in the, the thought. Yes, mm. yes. So we also have to pray for forgiveness. Yes. Actually, yes. when... Uh, Adam and Eve, our four parents, ate the apple. The sin had already begun. Yes, yes, yes. Master. That's why God asked uh, them to leave Eden. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, yes, Just master. eating an apple, you lost your paradise. So, what to talk about any other thing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In the Kristigaba Sutra of Buddhism, it's also stated that he ob observed the, uh, the beings on this uh, planet. Anything they think, anything they do, any little movement, any little thought, is all sinful. So we are confirmed now that we are sin. <laughs> we are sinners. But what to do? I think God is all forgiving as long as we repent and be humble in our heart. A marriage between two beings is not just about physical pleasure huh? or, or sexual that's I, I i normally am shy to talk about that word but i'm old enough now i guess i should not be so shy anymore <laughs> a marriage is not just about sexual stuff yes it's about companionship it's about friendship it's about support for each other in time of happiness as well as sorrow. In this sense, the people of the same sex, saying uh, lesbian or gay people, they can get married. And uh, the thing is, it's the hormones that rage inside them that sometimes cause them to have more intimate physical relationships. Huh? Yes. yes, but Master. after a long while, after long years, they just kind of uh, taper off. After a while, like many married couples, they grow old until 90 plus, 100 years, they are not having any physical intimacy anymore, yes? yes but Master. they still love, love each other so much, so much, like the best friends in the world. And that's what marriage should be. Yes, Master. Yes, so yes, Master. It, it's about love, okay? Right. So you can yes. bless love and do not think about these physical things that men and women, gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans alike, are forced into due to the hormones raging in their bodies. Yes, 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 Master. Master. yes Master. Then anyone can bless any marriage, because a marriage is like a sacred promise from one human being to another, so that they will be
forever together under any circumstances. It's about loyalty. It's about deep, genuine friendship and companionship in this lonely planet. Even though we have more than seven billion humans now, yes. yeah, but we are lonely as a human. So uh, I think if it was up to me, I would bless them because they love each other, yes. and love is important. Anything else is a secondary side effect. Just like you take medicine because you need it. Otherwise, you would die or you would be languishing daily with this uh, disease. So you take it with the side effect. So about the blessing is to make the couple happy, you know? Mm -hmm. yes. I'm feeling assured that their marriage, their loyalty to each other, their love and commitment to each other are shared with someone else and witnessed and recognized and being happy with them. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's why in marriage people throw big party and everything, yes. so right. that they can share the happiness with other people. Yes. Yes. So uh, if I'm a priest, I would bless them. And whatever sin, uh, I would take it. I'm a sinner anyway. I don't feel I'm better than anyone else. Just as Jesus said, who among you who has never sinned, then you can throw the stone right, right. on that woman who is supposed to be condemned as a sinner. Yes. Yes. And nobody throw any stones. Okay? Yes. Yes. Maybe God said that. You should not do this. You should not do that. But we did everything already and we are still doing it. So what? A little bit more with the gay couple or lesbian couple. Let them be happy. Wish them well. Yes, Master. Yes. Don't you think so? Yes. 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 Master. yes. And one more happy couple. The world is a happier place. Yes. Huh? Yes. Master. At least this is what we can do. We cannot do anything to make them happy because it's their life, but we can wish them well. Yes. yes. And we can say, we bless you. And God, even if He doesn't agree to that, on that's God's business. Don't you think so? Yes. Yes. Okay. I bless you in the name of God. But if God doesn't want to give that blessing, that's His, His business. I am a human with you here on this lonely sojourn. And so much trouble, so much temptation, and so much, you know, weakness and pollution into the human mind, body, and spirit. So at least I, as a human, you know, I will bless you. I bless all of you, sinners or not. Whoever thinks they are not sinners, they should think twice. Aren't we not here for sinners? Huh? Yes. Yes, yes, we are not here only for the virtuous. If the whole world are virtuous people, we don't need any church. We don't need any temple. We don't need any monks. We don't need any nuns. We don't need any nothing. We don't need any blessings. You got what I'm saying? Yes, 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 Master. Master. That's why Christi Gava, Bodhisattva, the saint, he went to hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes, to stay yes, with yes. with the sinners yes. and help them whatever he can. Yes. yes. Because yes, hev Master. heavens don't need us, do they? No. no. Yeah. So if we are not here for sinners, what are we here for? Hmm? As monks and nuns. Yeah. So I'm trying to help whomever I can in my capacity if they let me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Master. Yes, yeah, that's the way we should be, as a human to each other even. Mm. So even if I don't have the authority to bless any, I don't do any wedding stuff anyway, <laughs> but if I can, I bless them from God, from God Almighty, immense loving kindness, forgiveness, 
and always there for his children, no matter what. Master, why are there so many sex scandals involving the clergy and Christianity? I guess is that, you know, like in Buddhism, we don't often hear of that. Hardly any, right? No, Master. Um, Buddhist monks and monastery and Buddhist nuns uh, rarely hear anything. Right. No, Master. The reason may be because they are more strict. And the uh, Buddhist monks and nuns, they, they realize what they're doing. Yes. They fear karma, you see? Yes. Uh, the reason may be that in the Bible, many of the karmic consequences have been cut. Mm. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't say there's a consequence a lot. But in Buddhism, for example, it explains very, very detailed and far, far, far to the horizon about consequences of what and what and what and what. The Buddha even tells you uh, which kind of business is meritorious, which kind of business is uh, bringing you to hell. Yes. Because the Buddha lives long. Our Lord Jesus, He lives only 33-something years, according to the, the history. Yes. Yes. And I think uh, the diet has something to do with it also. Oh, yeah. yes. yes. The meat and the wine, you know, yes. w which the, the Christian can, can drink and eat freely. And that doesn't help them to temper the inner fleshly desire of humans that we are made with, that we are installed inside without our consent even. You are born, that's it, and you are men. And then you will desire a woman, mostly, or you desire another man. And this hormone inside just makes you like that, makes you crazy also. So if you don't have a very profound teaching and a solid ground, a set of rules or regulations emphasize again and again, and then you don't have a true goal in your mind, then it's difficult to control the chemical inside your body that makes you thirst. It should be more emphasized, you know? Yes. yes. So first, you remember the story of Ananda. He was bewitched by the powerful incantation, yes. the most powerful in the world, to seduce him by a most beautiful woman. He cannot control himself, but he can pray to Buddha to come and help him. Yes. Yes. He still knows that that is no, no, that is not the thing that you should do with a woman. should not be with any woman. Because the Buddha emphasized that if you're a monk, you look only one meter ahead of you. Yes. So you can see if any insect, that you don't step on them only. You don't look left, you don't look right, you don't look at anybody. And they take 250 precepts as a monk, as a high priest or high nun. Like a BQ and Bhikkhuni. They are higher order of monks, you know, not the novice. Yeah. Yes, Master. And they vow to keep it, or they would defrock and go out and, you know, be like ordinary people again. Yeah. Yes. If yes. they feel the urge to do that, then they honestly will defrock themselves or tell their master that I cannot stay. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, master. Yeah. master. Some of my uh, Sokonams and monks also, they do that. They say they cannot stay, they cannot, they have to go out and then they're married and have children and all that. Yes, yes, yes. Even St. Paul doesn't accuse them. They say, if you can, then stay single like me. If not, then you can marry. Yes. Because all the saints understand the weakness of humans and the, the chemical makeup of their bodies. Yes, yes, yes. yes. There are truly no sinners in this world, according to what I'm thinking. Because they are only victims. They are victims. Victims and victims, victims everywhere. Yes, Master. Yes. Victims of ignorance. Victims of the makeup of their own physical body that, that is before they were born already. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. A priest or a nun, they are also human. And if uh, uh, there is no control, no strict regulation and, and supervising, then they also fail. Okay? Yes, ma'am. They'll fail now or later or some days or sometime in their life, and then they try to get up again, control again, but they cannot. The wine and the meat and all that, it doesn't help you to reach 
your goal as a holy person. Very difficult. That's why all religions forbid meat and wine. Yes. It is best to abstain from eating any meat or drinking any wine or from any other activity which might cause a brother to fall away or to be scandalized or to weaken. Romans Holy Bible then said Daniel to Melzar, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Test thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pulse, or vegetables, to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the youths who eat of the portion of the king's meat. And as thou seat, deal with thy servants. So he consented to them in this matter, and tested them ten days. And at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the youths who ate the portion of the king's meat. Thus Melsar took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink, and gave them pulse or vegetables. Daniel, Holy Bible. Do not be among those who give themselves to wine drinking, or among those who make themselves full with meat. Proverbs, Holy Bible. Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Corinthians, Holy Bible. I mean, animal products and alcohol and intoxicants, all these kind of things are ruining your brain, your intellect and your reason capability. You can't control too much. If that kind of evil even added onto your system. And also they rely on Jesus. They think Jesus died already for all the sinners, so they can go on sinning. It's not like that. No, no, no. He died for his disciples, and for his followers, and for the people at that time, whoever believes in him. But after Jesus is gone, somebody else has to take up the cross. You see what I'm saying? Yes. 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 That's why Jesus said, I am the light in the world. As long as I am in the world, He doesn't say, I will be the light forever for you, for next generation, for forever, forever. No. He say, I am the light for the world, as long as I am in the world. That's why life after life, we have different masters come in into our you know, planet into our world to help us, to teach us again. So, uh, in my own observation, I think the Buddhist monks, uh, even the Tibetan monks, they, they eat meat also, but they have so many teachings to learn. You understand me? They have no time for their mind to be used by any of the devious influences of the world. They have to learn by heart many sutras, they have to do many mudras, I mean, yeah, special gesture of the finger and the hands. Yeah. Yeah. So many things to learn. So that's so busy, busy, you know. So they all have to concentrate on that all day long. And it was a, a strong tradition, you know, national religion. So even the Tibetan people, they eat meat, but they don't eat as much. I don't think they drink wine. They are not allowed to drink alcohol. It's very clearly stated in even the, the normal five precepts, you don't use any intoxicants, including alcohol. Yes. But the Christian, they're more liberal, they can drink wine. And they eat meat and all, all kinds of things, anything, anything. And there are not enough teachings for them, just one Bible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus did not live long enough to leave them a lot of guidance. And they're not allowed to study any others, you know, doctrine. Right. It's like heresy to them. So the young, idealistic priest, you know, with his able, strong, beautiful body and the hormones surging inside, with not a lot to do. Yes. And freedom to experience this and that and others. And the false belief that Jesus will rescue them, even if they sin. Yes, this yeah. is a very false concept. You don't have to always be in a Catholic denomination. There are also other branches of Christianity. They also marry, have children, and still be a missionary or minister 
Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Sir. yes. and nowadays also women can also some. Yes. 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 So if you really cannot hold on to that, then uh, be honest. Uh-huh. Because God is watching. Heaven is watching. God is forgiving, but you cannot continue mocking His rules and teachings like that. Yes. 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 Maybe one time He has forgives, but you have to be really humbly repentant. You know, you have to repent, knowing that it's really sinful. I don't just do it like uh, normal, like watching a movie, or like you are a normal person outside you can marry. You can also marry as a gay nowadays, so why don't just, you know, be honest, defrock yourself, go out and find a lover or something. Yes, 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 yes. yes even the law nowadays protects you. Hmm? Yes. Yes. As a gay person or as a lesbian person, it's all open now. Even celebrities, they openly married, same sex, yeah? yeah. Nobody yeah. say anything. People support and understand their love and understand their need to be with each other as a company, as friend, the trusted friend in life. Yes. 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 Because in this life is lonely, lonely. And you grow up and you have to have so much responsibility and nobody really understands you and you cannot talk to anybody. You can talk to your parents, but different thing. Mm-hmm. You yes, come, yes, come yes. home from work, you want some people there, you know, with you to share your hard day, yeah? yeah. Yes. And to, to just to laugh with each other, to talk about nonsense things, <laughs> just <laughs> to ease your mind, you know? Yes. Yes. So that you can survive on this planet. Right. Yeah. Because it's really done hard to survive here mm-hmm. right. yes, for master. anybody. Yes, master. Yes. yes, master. So on top of that, if somebody also condemn you, say you are a sinner, sinful like that, my God, I don't know how they live. Right. It's really very harsh on them, on their mental, on their sight, you know, on their heart, on their emotions. Yes. They will feel terrible. In in the old time and now even the Jain people, in Jainism, yes, yes. the Lord Mahavira teach them they have to wear a mask just like you are doing now. Yes, yes the whole Lord. world become Jain. <laughs> 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 it's also good like that, and it's less attractive. <laughs> That's right. So maybe the priest will be less tempted to sin. Nah? Yeah. And yes, that is yes. really a sin, because when you are a man of the cloth, you know, you wear that holy garment, meaning you are dedicated to God completely, all your life, with all your heart, all your soul. You forget the whole world already, and you know that, and you vow celibacy. And if you did this kind of thing, especially to the minor boy, same sex, because mostly they have altar boys, and the priests are mostly men up to now. Yes. yes. That is really sin. If we talk about sin, let's talk about that, okay? Yes, yes, Master. Not the gay people, because they cannot help it. They are too lonely and feel burdened and feel sad already by the society's judgment, by their own complexity. They don't understand why they are like this. They feel not normal already. They feel burdened already. So if we cannot do anything to make them feel more confident, happy and normal, then don't hurt them. Mm. Yes. Yes. Don't hurt their feeling. If we cannot help, then don't harm. That's what I say. Yes. 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 You don't have to bless their marriage. You just refuse them quietly. Yes. Yes. Don't have to make a norm in the society and condemn one-sixth of the population, one in six humans are trans. You know that? Wow. I mean, wow, trans meaning gay or lesbian or, you know? Wow. Others, wow. yes. Or bisexual, yes. So we don't condemn one-sixth of the planet. One-sixth is uh, official, maybe more, because some people, they don't recognize their own sexual orientation until later on. Yes. Even yes. past their maturity, yeah, they don't know. And uh, I just feel very, very sorry for them. My heart feels very aching for their situation, because it's not their fault to be born like that. I told you many times already, between being a man and a woman, 
you go through this stage. If you have not completely been doing all the manly stuff when you were a man, uh, then you are going stage-wide to be a woman. So you come in between, you know, as a lesbian or a gay. But if you completely well and have a lot of merit, then you just jump from being a man last life to be a woman in this lifetime. Right. And you yes, need yes. to go through that uh, transitional station. Yes, yes. Master. They are just in transitional station. So if God wants to accuse gay people, I mean the same-sex people, to love each other, and like if I'm a prisoner, yes. forbid me to bless them because I sin. Then I would say to God, I would still do it, and you put the sin on me. Because how can you as a human have a human heart and knowing the emotion and knowing the hardship in this life, put another yoke on another human being, make them feel more miserable, more destitute, more desperate, more lonely. My God! Isn't God the one who made them this way? Or who made them? You think the devil made them? No, Master. No! So God will forgive me if I forgive the gay people sin, but I don't think they sin more than anyone else, even less. We are sinning because we are destroying our planet. Yes. 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 We're sinning because we're torturing other humans and bombing them, killing them, yes. innocent bystanders, you know, for any reason. And we're sinning because we're torturing, oppressing the helpless animals every second of our life. Yes. Yes. Now talking about sin, then let's talk more. More sin, okay? Yes. 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 For money, huh? You kill people. For fame and position, you oppress opponents. You blame them for things they did not do. You wrongly accuse them. You give fake news all over the nation or the planet so that people will hate them, not vote for them, or harass them, or harass their followers. These are not sinning. Then what are they then, huh? In a big, 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 huge scale, no? Yes. 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 The gay people, they only love one person. Even if they sin, they only sin small scale, right? Yes, Yes. Master. Compared to the people who go bombing, killing other nations, citizens, no matter what reason. Yes, Yes, Master. Uh Uh-huh. And then killing innocent animals every day. The ones who have no defense, no one to protect them, no law, nothing. Even they make law themselves. They say, oh, the citizen cannot oppressed animals, cannot uh, how say, harass them, cannot torture them, cannot uh, cause them pain or anxiety or anything at all. But what are they doing every day in the slaughterhouse? Yes. Yes. Tell me. Huh? And all the lawmakers know that, or don't they? They know, yes. Master, they know. Yes. From the president to the policeman to the stripper on the street, the lawmakers make them for them, but including the lawmakers themselves, no? If you make a law, you expect that to be followed. Yeah, because the government says, oh, you don't steal. And if somebody, because hungry or poor or has no job, has to go steal some some food or some money to survive, then he goes to jail. Does it not? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And how about the law not? Harassing animals, not causing pain and suffering, not causing them fear and all that. Nobody. (coughs) Excuse me, I'm just too, just freaking out. (sighs) You're talking about raw emotion. Sorry. I think you don't think I'm a master anymore. I'm talking like a, I don't know what, (sighs) politician or something. It really freaks me out, you know? It really hurts me. Understand, Master. <clears throat> Don't bother cutting this out. Let them see. All right? Yes, it's all real. I'm all real, okay? Yes. yes. I don't have anything to, to, to hide or to, to play theater or anything. So, you see what I'm saying now? Yes, huh? yes Master. If we want to talk about sin, well, we can make a list of it. A book 
talks about them, huh? Right. Yes. Why trampling upon those poor, helpless gay couples? All they want is just a loving company for their life, to have them taking care of each other in time of need and to share happiness when they are joyful together. Even if it's a sin, I would ask God to overlook it because everybody else sin more than they do. What do you think? Yes, yes. Master. Yes, Master. Yeah. I agree. <sighs> I feel sorry I could cry for them, you know. Can you imagine how they feel? Yes, yes Master. These people, yes. you know. It's still shunned by many. Understand that? Yes. Yes. Feeling they, they are not normal, they are sick or something. It's not fair. Okay? If God wants to blame, then he has, has to blame himself. That's what I think. I'm sorry if God wants to put me to hell or something. I say the truth. Huh? You accept it. Even if God tell me not to, to bless them and I'm a priest, I would. Yes, yes. I cannot give them more pain than they are already in. Don't you think so? Yes. yes. Yeah, I cannot trample upon somebody who is already almost on the ground. Mm. Yeah? Yes. Right. yes. I don't know if God said anything like that or somebody added it on, okay? Yeah. Because why, why say only about men? Why, why not about women? Huh? Women, lesbian, they're also together, you know? Yes, my yes That's not fair. I don't think God say anything like that. I think maybe add it on, okay? Later on. Yes. yes or somebody for personal purposes. I think I abolish this. If God permits, even if God doesn't, I would like that to be abolished. This sin or law, or whatever that is, because it's not fair. Yes, 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 sin is the one who knows that he should not do it. In his position as a priest and still harassing, molesting an innocent, helpless teenager, minor, who is look, looking upon him as a God as the representative of God, as a holy person, as a teacher for the blurry road that he is treading on every day in this world. He looked upon the priest, the monks, as his master, as someone who is wise and holy. And if he turns around and betrays that trust from an innocent and even causes pain and suffering psychologically, mentally, physically to that little, minor, then that is a sin. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, Master. It's, it's also clear, you know, in Christianity, because in Leviticus it says that you don't do that anyway, okay? So if they believe in the Bible, as a holy Bible, then they shouldn't do that. Especially forcing the minors who are vulnerable, they are helpless, and don't dare to tell anybody probably shock them for whole life yes. and stun their growth or, or smashing their, their, their faith forever. So that is a real sin. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Anything else, I think you better just don't talk about it. Oh, I just, oh, people would feel like it's all fake, all fake, it's all fake and false. And, oh, my God, what are they doing with Jesus' teaching? Oh, my God, they make an empire out of it for gain and fame and respect and privilege. That is a sin. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Not yes. a couple who love each other and want to be together all their life and just ask them to be witnesses and to bless them, if they even have any blessing at all. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Otherwise, if they are sinner, then a sinner blesses sinner. What was the use of that? Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, master. I'm very angry inside. I'm an angry master. <laughs> I'm a very angry vegan master. Okay? <laughs> when it comes to injustice and the suffering of children and animals, because they are helpless. Yes, yes master. master. The adults, they can fend for themselves, but children, they don't know what to do. Right, master. They yes. probably never dare say to anybody. So many, many of these 
incident never come to light. Yes, yes Master. Only a little bit recently, and the church didn't do much. Yeah, symbolically, here and there, my God. Ah, no. oh, my God, forgive us all. Ultimate Master, God Almighty, forgive all of us, please. Because we also don't know what to do with each other, with cases like this. We just have to pray for forgiveness and not accusing any of them. I am not accusing. I'm just feeling tremendously painful for the children. Imagine if it's you, yeah? Yes. You're a kid only. You never knew anything like this, and you are taught to respect these priests and monks or nuns, whatever, yeah? And they sell you. Yeah. They abuse you. They molest you, and they sell you even, yeah? Yeah. You, you read the news. I don't want to talk anymore. Yes, yes, Master. My God, make a business out of an orphanage, out of the orphan boys. Yeah. Yes. Oh, girls, what wicked, evil. Unimaginable. Yeah. Talking about Satan and devils and all that, where are they? Huh? So when we talk about sinning in this world, there is no surprise. The only solution is forgive whom you can, forgive what you can, especially those who don't harm anyone. They just love each other. No matter if a man loves a woman or a man loves a man, it's love that counts, right? Yes, yes. Master. Most compassionate Master, our gratefulness for your endless empathy and protection for the defenseless as you remind us that love and forgiveness are always the answer. Through your inspiration, may we humans learn to understand and feel for one another, thus seeing the true way to live as caring children of God. May Master always have excellent health, peace, and safety in the mighty heaven's magnificence. For the full broadcast of this conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.